This was a public outrage on the streets of Benin City about two years ago. Family and friends of Uwaila Omozua, joined by civil society groups, demand justice following her death after being attacked and raped. Till now, there's no news of her killers. She was she was this is a source of worry for the Gender-Based Violence Committee, one of the outcomes of the Uwaila murder. In this workshop, the Uwaila Omozua story is still a talking point. <laughs> Mrs. Betsy Obaseki is one of the campaigners of justice for victims of rape and gender violence. She believes that bringing the killers of Uwaila Omozua to book will be a major milestone for the fight against gender-based violence in the country. We are using this opportunity to call on the State government and all of the agencies involved to please step up the work and ensure that Uwaila's killers are caught and prosecuted. That will be the day of true deliverance and joy to the innocent people of the land. The governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, stays on the topic of Uwaila Omozua in his address at the event. Mr. Obaseki did not spare the police. He's adamant that law enforcement agents are responsible for the slow prosecution of the case. The Inspector General of Police insisted that this case should be moved to headquarters, which was done. As we speak, investigations are stalling. The investigation teams keep asking for money to do their work. This is really, really sad. The late Uwaila Omozua, a 100-level microbiology student of the University of Benin, was attacked inside a church around the Pubahil axis of Benin City, the Edo State Capital, on May 27, 2020. She died days later as a result of the injuries sustained. <laughs>